Good morning guys. So this morning is um, the Fast Last Adventures walk. So it is Sunday the 14th. So I did the recce walk on Friday. Um, but <laughs> in typical Scottish weather, the snow has fallen this morning, but I think it's just our area. So made a made a safety decision that it's actually perfectly okay to go out. Um, as always, if I go ahead, <laughs> hit the roads and it's too snowy, then I will just turn back. I wouldn't dream of going out. I think putting anybody at risk, but I believe Aberdeen's clear. And I know a lady coming down from Keith that we're car sharing and it's clear for her as well. So it just seems to be my little nuke that I stay. Um, so yeah, got all my kit ready here. And walking poles for different people. Got a couple of spare jackets, just in case people need thicker jackets. Sit mats, snacks, hot drinks, so don't really think that I've got anything else that I need. But the most important thing, hot cup of tea and some snacks. And snacks to go around if anybody's forgotten any. So um, yeah, I'm going to take you along today. I'm not sure how much video I'll get done, because obviously I'm with a group, but we'll um, see what I can do. profile I'm a premium member so when I went down to the Peak District to do my training to become an Everybody Outdoors volunteer I was lucky enough to get a premium membership so I was actually using Commute prior to um, getting the premium just as the free version and I would highly recommend that you would download it and, and play around with it. There's really good tutorials on YouTube so I'm not going to try and give you a tutorial because I'm not going to be anywhere near as good as some of the people that I've seen on YouTube but I just wanted to show you how I plan my walk. Um, so here is the how I plan Skolti. So the great thing about Kamut is you can plot a route beforehand so you can basically start from the beginning but in that case you kind of need to know exactly where the walks are, what the paths are, but there's also the option to look for local routes. Um, well, there's actually the possibility to look for routes all over um, the UK, in fact, all over the world. Um, but obviously within, I'm looking within my area at the moment. So I knew that Scotty existed, but I didn't know exactly the path. So this really did help me work out what route I was going to take to get up. So here is A, where is the car park, and one is the top of Skolti where there's a monument which I'll tell you a little bit about later. So um, what I decided to do was add on a bit of a loop to begin with. So as you can see we start from the car park, we have a little bit of a downhill section and then we have a very flat section which is quite kind of open, kind of moorland. We go through a bit of a tree line section and these are all kind of fire roads at the moment. And just as we come to this little kind of corner here, we turn right onto the track and this is the kind of uphill, the start of the uphill to Skolti. So we're on, um, we're on kind of well gravel paths, I would say at this stage. Um, so not Land Rover paths, but they're very, very well marked and um, quite stony and it's very even. So when I'm actually wrecking my route, I take a notebook with me and I do a bit of a description about the route and the, the terrain that, that we're walking on as well. 
So I decided to try and ease the incline on the way up, so I decided to go around the back of Skolte. So as you can see here, we're kind of going up and then we flatten out a bit, and then we go up and then we flatten up a bit, out a bit. And then the last bit is a kind of steady up and then we kind of flatten out a bit until we reach the peak. So that was the reason that I kind of came round the back of Skolte. It adds on a little bit of distance, but it makes it a bit more of a gentle incline. And on the way back down is a bit more of a direct route, um, and it's a bit steeper. Now, my planned route and my actual um, completed route is two different things, which I'll show you using Strava later on. Yeah, due to weather conditions, we, um, spoiler alert, we decided to take a much more direct route down and actually we did this route down here. So as you can see, probably steeper, steeper but more direct down to the car park. When I had done it a couple of days before the recce route, I had gone this way down and um, went back to the car park there. So the other good thing about Kamut is it obviously tells you the total distance, it tells you the... Um, maximum elevation which was 302 meters and then obviously back down again. It also tells you the speed profile um, so roughly if you're walking at an average of you know say two and a half kilometers per hour and um, you will get there at a certain time so as you can see here this is actually my measured speed throughout the walk um, you can see see where I've stopped for breaks, either to take photos or to get my breath back. So I do quite I to take quite regular stops actually. Um, and here is when we were at the top of school to have a cup of tea and um, a fine piece, as they say in Scotland. So yeah, really really helpful app. I certainly wouldn't go without it now. And as part of the um, volunteer role, we do say you know we are asked that we, we do this, and I think it's really important. So yeah, a whistle stop tour of what I do. Mummy's okay. <laughs> so this is Shirley and she has been to all three walks so she's a seasoned veteran. Um, in fact I actually think she's leading the walk today she's so good. So Shirley how do you find everybody outdoors? I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so inclusive. I feel like nobody gets left behind. It doesn't matter how fast you are or how slow you are. It doesn't matter if you're unfit. Everybody makes you feel really welcome and and we just stick together. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that's what I want to reiterate to everybody that's thinking about coming in these walks but maybe feel a wee bit anxious and scared is that we are such a team. We do it together and this walk is a struggle. Yeah. I think the weather's not helping. Um, this is the first hill we've done as a, as a group for the, the North East and it's not easy but then you know, sometimes it's good to push ourselves, but it we're yeah, all definitely. cheering ourselves. Well, we're all cheering ourselves on, but we're all che cheering each other on as well, yeah. um, which is all which is what it's all about. So we all... don't want anybody to think, oh, I can't do that. I'm going to hold up the group. Nobody knows if you're the slowest one or the fastest one because we all just walk together. Yeah, that's absolutely true, actually. Yeah, yeah no, I like that. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And yeah. where we're walking today in Bankery, and um, for people that are maybe not from this area, is you're treated to epic views the whole way around. You see it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. absolutely stunning. You've seen a bird of prey hovering over there. Oh, did you? Yeah, beautiful. Oh, I missed on that one. Yeah. Trust, trust me. So yeah, we've got a few dogs on the walk today. I've been more trusting on letting dogs yeah. on and every single one's probably better behaved than the adults. So um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all in all, it's been a really good walk. So we're almost at the top now. And yeah. um, we'll do another video at the top. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Please come. Okay. Thanks, Shirley. I'm doing a video just now. So Lisa. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about everybody the outdoors walks? Brilliant. This is just my second walk, but it's fantastic bringing together kind of like-minded people with just a lust for the outdoors. It's fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely. This is the first hill we've done as a, a, a group, obviously different members in the group and Let's say we've not exactly given them the most favourable conditions. The weather I booked um, two weeks ago asked for sun. 
didn't didn't appear. We just decided to get driving winds and snow, but everybody's still smiling, which I'm really pleased about, and we're getting there. I know, that's true. Did you hear that? Lisa said if everybody, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And then we, need, we couldn't get up the hill because there were so many people, so we're doing it. So just speaking to Shirley there just now, I'm hoping you can hear me because it's blown a hoolie, but um, I was just speaking to Shirley and she said something really quite poignant that this group, Everybody Outdoors, has brought people together that would never have met unless we had set up Everybody Outdoors, or less Steph and the group had set up Everybody Outdoors and the volunteers had come together, we would never have met each other. And already, this is only our third walk, and already friendships have been formed, which is so, so lovely. And this has been our toughest walk to date. Um, this is the first one we've done a hill. And it has been a challenge because the weather is really freezing. There's been snowstorms coming in, but everybody's doing it. And the support that everybody's shown to each other and everybody's cheering each other on, it's just so special to witness. So, just up there, it's Scalty Hill. A little monument that I came up on Friday and couldn't see. So yeah, we're almost there and then it's all downhill from here. So we've got some really happy faces, which makes me feel really proud. So unfortunately, um, we didn't get any more videos, um, but I decided to put in some photos. And as you can see, every single face is um, smiling from ear to ear. This was us just on the approach, this was the Land Rover paths, um, just taking a steady pace. This is the first view we got of Skolte. This next photo, this one, <laughs> does not make it, doesn't show how um, bad a weather it was, let's just say. Some of the group were getting quite arty with their photos with this one, and these photos here make me so, so proud. The group at the top, and yeah, all smiling, all happy, all a bit windbeaten. And this photo here, um, let's just say super proud this woman achieved more than she ever thought she could imagine and the last bit here is the Strava route and um, so I record all my walks via Strava and um, yeah this is us just on the kind of flash bit in a little bit of an incline here and then we turned right and this is where the steady incline is now as I said earlier when we were looking at Kamut we came in kind of via the back of Skolte if you like to try and lessen the incline and this is us just arriving at Skolte now that's it there and then as I said we took the much more direct route down in hindsight I'm not sure I would do that again um, at that point I was just really wanting to get back to the car as quickly as possible but hey we we live and learn but I'm um, super proud of everybody that walked that walk and I can't wait to do more. So I was just editing the video for the Everybody Outdoors walk at Skolte and um, I was just looking back at it and I thought I've not really made it clear exactly what I'm doing. Obviously people who are watching this have been on the walks but if anybody else out with is watching it and um, I just want to say a bit about it. So I was selected as a volunteer for the northeast of Scotland area and I'm hopeful in the summer I might kind of go over towards the Highlands. However, I think everybody outdoors are planning to recruit more volunteers within the next kind of year, um, two years or so. So I suspect there will be more for, for Scotland in time. There is a volunteer for the kind of central region, Perth kind of area already and um, yeah we're the only two in Scotland at the moment so I was really felt really lucky to be selected and I'm absolutely loving the role it's really good the um, the hope is that we do four walks a year that's what everybody outdoors would like us to do however I you know I, I'm more than happy to do more than that because I'm going out walking anyway and I think it's nice to have people along I've met some really good friends already through um, the walks and I just love learning new things about new people and to be honest it's been so inspiring for me and being with a group of people who are all very like-minded and there's no ju judgment whatsoever it, it's really brought me out of my shell more and, and, and helped my confidence so um, yeah I would highly encourage you if you don't um, already follow everybody outdoors give them a follow because the work they're doing is absolutely tremendous in fighting for um, outdoor brands to make bigger size clothing and also if you have a volunteer in your area sign up um, to get notifications about their walks because as I said I would highly recommend them I think they're they're really good for everybody so I plan to keep videoing and um, this video that I've done 
edited today, I think just gives you a bit of an insight as to how much people are benefiting from it. And um, yeah, we'll maybe try and video a few more. It's a bit more difficult because obviously my main focus is making sure that everybody's okay and everybody's safe. Um, but it's fine just to bring out the camera every so often. And um, everybody that's been part of this video today have all consented to be in it. So um, yeah, I'll look forward to catching you on a new video soon. Thank you.